verse 15 of chapter 14. Exodus. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? I love this. Tell the people to get moving. <laughs> I love this translation. The Bible, New Living, this is great. Why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. Go! Pick up your staff and raise your hand over the sea. Defy the water so the other boats can walk through in the middle of the sea on dry ground. All right. And Moses walks over with that stick. Because Moses has gotten it. He's starting to figure it out by now. You hit points where there's no answer, and God has an answer. And he walks over, and he hits that water, and the water parts, and the ground dries. As the wind blows, and the people of Israel march through the water to the other side on dry ground. This whole crowd of crazy people marching through to the other side. And when that's done, that pillar of fire that has stood between the two and kept the Israelites in darkness moves and the, Israel, the Egyptians chase them. Verse 23, Then the Egyptians, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and chariots, chased them into the middle of the sea. But just before dawn, the Lord looked down on the Egyptian army from the pillar of fire and cloud and he threw their forces in his whole confusion. He twisted their chariot wheels, making their chariots difficult to drive. Let's get out of here, away from these Israelites, the Egyptians shouted. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. When all the Israelites had reached the other side, the Lord said to Moses, Raise your hand over the sea again, and the waters will rush back and cover the Egyptians and their chariots and charioteers. So the sun began to rise. Moses raised his hand over the sea, and the water rushed back into its usual place. The Egyptians tried to escape, but the Lord swept them into the sea. Then the waters returned and covered all the chariots and charioteers, the entire army of Pharaoh. Of all the Egyptians, he the Israelites into the sea, not a single one survived. But the people of Israel had walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground as the water stood up like a wall on both sides. Amen. This is how the Lord rescued Israel from the hand of the Egyptians that day. I don't care what the challenge is in your life right now. I don't care what the frustration is in your life right now. God has a solution and it has nothing to do with what you can do. It has nothing to do with what you can do. God already has a plan for what you're facing right now. And even if you're like me in the middle of it, like, oh God, what are you doing? Why is this God in there? God already has it figured out. He already has the plan to get you through it. The answer is already there. You can't see it maybe right now. And I'm sorry that you can't see it. Because God has a victory that is going to be so spectacular that you're going to be walking through going, whoa, impossible. There's no way this could happen. And God has already planned and foretold your deliverance. God has deliverance for you. He's brought you into this dark place, this challenging place, to show that He is the only one that can deal with your life. Amen. He is the only one that can deal with your challenge, and He's promised to deal with it. He's promised to take you through it. He's promised to walk right beside you, and you don't have to freak out, although we like to, because He's already planned it. Amen. He has the way through for you already, and it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. Praise God. Amen. It's not about how strong or smart you are, how intelligent or quick you are. He has the plan already for you, and He's brought you to this place to show His glory and to remind you once again, it's not about you. It's not about how strong and great you are. It's about His power. Amen. There's stuff in your life that's too big for you to handle. And maybe you've been standing at the side of the seashore and maybe y'all got together and decided to go and take the ox cart and rip some pieces off the side and get you and three million of your closest friends to walk out in the water and try to party yourself. <laughs> and it's not working real well. God already has a plan. God already has a plan for you. He's already got a way through it. Whatever that challenge is, whatever that difficulty is, God has a plan and it has its when you get, can you imagine them on the other side? The whole next chapter, chapter 15, read it this afternoon, is a song of rejoicing that they sing on the other side. 
Because you know when they got to the other side, they weren't excited that there was dead people. They were excited that God had brought them victory and freedom. When you have God on your side, nothing can stand against you. Amen. Nothing can stand against you. Not even an army and a wall of water and mountains on either side. God says, I'm bringing you right through it. I don't know what it is, and I don't know what your challenge is, and I don't know how God's going to get you through it, but He will bring you through this difficult point no matter 